Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. The annual November event is here and it's very interesting to see that the list is now here. And this list is comprising of food, texture, time, nature, humanity and also patterns. Now, just in case you're new to November, what happens is there is you know it's more like a challenge there is no contest to this so it's more like a challenge you challenge yourself to become better and learn more while trying to create procedural nodes that would actually achieve any of these things so this happens from the first day of november all through to the 30th day of november so there's actually one thing that you get to work with and there is literally nothing that you are tied to. So there is no software that you're bound to say, okay, I must use, you know, Substance to do this. I must use Houdini to do this. It is totally up to you. The whole idea is for you to challenge yourself to get better, just like we have for Scope January and also for Inktober and so on and so forth. Now there are certain rules and regs that you need to, you know, pay attention to. And these things comprise of several stuff. If you create a node, you need to put a hashtag November and also the hashtag November 2020. So anyone that is searching for these things would easily find this. And once you're done, you can post this on any social media by simply using those hashtags. Then for shading and texturing, no image texture is required. No nodes that, you know, loads external data is required. And for extra challenge, you may also want to use your nodes to create your HDR lighting. So you don't need to use any HDR lighting. You need to use procedural lighting to light your scene. Now for the modeling section, there is no sculpting that's required. There is no modeling. Everything you need to do are node based and basic primitives are the only things that you need. So you might need a sphere or you can get a sphere and then you can use that sphere as your base for creating whatever you want or maybe you can also choose to use a cube to do something like that so your nodes are also not supposed to be able to load anything from external source no sample of recording is required no nodes to load additional things outside your scene is also required the only things that you need are basic oscillators now this is also something that the guys working from extra points are also using so in case you are using the extra point tool you may also see that they have also posted this one on their page as well our folks at side effects houdini they're also talking about this so november is a, is a popular thing now it's very good to see that everyone is actually participating and then substance is also doing that just in case you're new to this doesn't matter what app you're working with you can simply kick off and start getting very cozy with this now if you're also working with gd quest you may also find this one very very interesting as you can also do those things there so i, I guess you know it's not actually tied to any software at all you can do it in maya you can do it with blender you can do it with you know houdini if you're also working with unreal engine or you're working with unity of course you can do any of these things you can work with them now speaking about unreal engine we also have a second news this next news which we have is the fact that epic games just received a 2020 engineering emmy award now this is for the technology that they've been working on and how things have been going and in the 27th engineering award epic games was recognized and this is it's very very nice so in case you have no idea they've been working on several things and they've also harnessed a lot of things that has to do with the engine being behind a lot of productions and also a lot of cool things that has been happening in both the film world animation and also for games now this is not the only thing that epic games is you know sharing and celebrating within this month of november as they've also given out a free asset so this free asset is a free automotive bridge environment that is available on the unreal marketplace so just in case you are using unreal engine or maybe you want to grab something that is pretty cool you may want to take a look at this one now this unreal engine asset is not only for static images as you can also play around with it and get some very cool animated shots easily by using the sequencer and you can see from the image that we have right here that there are actually a lot of potentials with this particular asset so if you're into creating you know scene or you're looking for a bridge scene that you can implement for your next shot 
or for your next show this one is pretty nice now moving ahead so this next one is more like a reiteration for those who are new to unreal engine or maybe you want to take a learning course so unreal engine does have this pixel streaming to sound design course for anyone who wants to learn it they're all online courses and they cover a wide range of topics so if you're into these things you want to learn them you want to get started you want to see how to work with unreal engine and how to create some pretty interesting looking stuff then of course you should take a look at the link in the description and start learning these things for free now there is a full learning session where you can learn anything that you want and it's just very interesting to see that the guys from epic games are having all of these things for you to take advantage of so that is definitely going to be about it november is here there are free stuff that is available from the guys at epic games which are not the free marketplace content stuff that you can get for free which i'm also going to put a link to that in the description just in case and yes you can also learn anything you want for unreal engine for free right here within their online learning session so tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace